myself to wake up so I can like arrange my stuff and go out I have limited days and I want to maximize every single day I've actually been up for like 15 minutes I've just been on my phone because for some reason my phone was ringing all through the night last night I thought I was going to sleep because I was tired my body was tired but my eyes were wide open guys I left my laptop charger so I couldn't edit so I was up like all night not all night I was up to like the what is good Tricks. I'm back and checking on you guys for now. Let me fold all the mess I made last night. Okay. Hi guys, good morning. I think I've already said good morning. <laughs> so hey guys, what's good? Right now I'm going to the beauty market. Let me even tell you guys the best part of this thing. I just found out that this place is literally four minutes away from me, so I can walk. I think walking is probably going to be like 10 or 15 minutes. But yeah, I'm so happy. Like, I pity the market. You guys know that I am in the beauty world, beauty industry, whatever. Follow me to the beauty exchange market. I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about this place. So, this place basically has everything beauty related here. Just a disclaimer some of these vendors, you might see their shops looking small. Most of them have like three parts of their shops or rather of their business. There's the display store, which is like what you would see here normally. These are just display stores. Some of them sell to like people that want to buy on small scale. Let's say you want to buy 10 pieces, 5 pieces. They will definitely sell to you. Some of them. Some of them don't sell to people that are buying like in small quantities. They are only there to display their products. And once you want in a larger quantity, they would um, give you a receipt. And then arrange for shipping to wherever you want it for. So they basically have the office space where they do their marketing and everything. They have a display store. For, you know business owners and the marketing part of the office are mostly those that deal with alibaba and all the other platforms and then they have the display stores for business owners that want to come to china and see products for their sale and always arrange a factory visit with them so they have the factory they have the office space they have the warehouse which is where they pack the orders and where most of the large capacity of stuff are kept and then there's the display um, space which is basically where i visited so if you want to see like how they produce and everything mm -hmm. always like arrange a factory visit with them once you visit this place i visited a couple of factories i did not vlog that because most of them were for customers and yeah here we have packaging so if you want to start your skincare brand or your makeup brand or your perfume brand you're gonna always come to these places and like pick the packaging you can buy packaging from a different supplier buy the contents from a different supplier or most of the time suppliers that sell packaging always work hand in hand with probably a supplier that produces also and also a supplier that produces most of the time they have like packaging stores too so these are boxes and there's just like so many different things but one disclaimer i want to give is that i don't want to be buying branded products here so as we go forward or as we go forward yeah you'll see brands like cosarex cerave cetaphil victoria secrets etc guys you don't want to be buying these products from china because 99 percent of the time these products are fake they are not authentic products chinese people produce like amazing products but they're also very good at like producing counterfeit so if you want to buy any Cosarx and uh, Korean skincare, please buy it from Korea. Don't buy it from China. I know that only a few brands actually buy and distribute their products from China. So yeah, you definitely want to be careful um, buying skincare or makeup from China. If you want to make your own brand, 
most brands, even big brands, produce here in China. I know some of the biggest makeup brands, some of the biggest skincare brands produce here in China, but then they do not distribute here in China. They produce their products and take it to their country and then distribute. Most of the time, China doesn't even allow other brands like bring their products into. Same thing goes for perfumes. So for perfumes, you also want to buy your perfumes not from China if you want to resell. Most of them are counterfeit. They are very good at imitating products that it will be so hard for you to detect the fake from the authentic. But I would suggest always just buying from an authorized distributor. Yeah, that's just the disclaimer. But if you, they have like other brands that are like generic brands and these products are amazing. So for like perfumes, they sell like if you want a perfume, a clone of another perfume but is not branded, they can also do that for you. So yeah, I hope you guys understand and I hope this was helpful. I just wanted to give a disclaimer and a tip for anybody that is coming to China for anything beauty related. So you should be coming to start your own brand or buy generic brands or basically buy beauty tools because most beauty tools come from here. Amazing quality. They have different grades so you'd always see variety. to myself I'm always trying to second guess these things everything I felt but you just had me tied up in your strings and maybe it was all in my head girl I'm all in my head but you just made me feel so insecure all in my head girl I'm sick in my head and I thought you'd be my cure but you how are you doing first of all let's ignore the elephant in the room you guys have noticed one eye i know that one of my eye has full on lashes and the other one is bare bear with me i don't know but bear with me though i think last time i vlogged was like two days ago i'm just applying lip balm i'm applying this huda beauty lip balm i didn't know how hot it was before i bought it this is it yeah bro is it plumping lip plumping lip balm but it is hot like the name even says warning flaming baby the job is for it to plump your lips so it makes sense that it will be hot but this one is exceptionally hot sharp I finally got a nose ring i lost my own a while ago and i'm very selective about my nose rings because my skin is very sensitive but i finally got a nose ring i have been going to the market a lot that's why i haven't been, i've been vlogging when i could when i can 
but sometimes like i go to buy stuff for people because i'm buying a couple of stuff for people like back in nigeria i've been buying stuff for my business i've been getting vendors for my class and sometimes it gets a bit hectic and i can't really vlog but then all the time that i can vlog i have been vlogging so for now i think i'm done like going up and down i don't just i didn't just come to do only business i came for business yes but like i think i took a break like from yesterday evening to like today yeah i took like a break from working but I, I i still like went into the market today but i will majorly went to buy clothes for myself like i went to see <laughs> I bought all those things there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but everything there. Those are all all clothes I bought for myself. Like I can't even stress. Yeah, I was like before I forget, let me get something for myself at least. Let me see if I don't try. <laughs> honestly, there's been protests in Nigeria and it's not even helping me. Like it's not I'm not even finding it funny honestly because like some of my stores cannot open. But I heard that they called the protest off today, so thank God for that. But Wow, it's been stressing me out. Hannah has been good so far. I have seen like a couple of my friends. No, not really. Like two of them. And um, but then next week or this weekend, I'm traveling to um, another city. I think I'm traveling to like two more cities. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure of some yet. I just need to like finalize some things before I decide if I'm going or not. But regardless, you guys are going to be going with me on the whole journey. I've been saying I want to start recording. Um editing i haven't said i have started editing but i haven't had time to like edit properly so yeah i'm going to like continue that hopefully like tomorrow i want to film black girl get hair done in china because i want to take out my braids you guys can see they're old and like these braids have taken out my front hair so bad but like i don't really mind <laughs> because i've been planning to cut my hair because i had a whole like incident with my hair i went to one bad salon and they did like a very bad job in relaxing my hair so i decided that i was just going to cut it and start over again his hair it will grow it's not a big deal for me i was upset that time but like because like i have my hair is like long hair then in the middle is like it cuts the hair into two it looks very funny so i've been planning to cut it so in my head I was just like I did my black girl get hair done like five years ago and I've been planning to do this part two but I didn't come to China obviously. So now that I'm in China I'm like okay I might just as well do the part two and now that my hair's relaxed then my hair was natural and probably play around and even color it, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. I went to the Canton Tower but we couldn't enter because first of all I went with my friend and we're both new in Guangzhou, yes? and he was like um he knows the place this is how we went and we got missing but we navigated by the time we got there we could only take pictures we couldn't enter because like it was already closed but we're lucky to get pictures i'm sure if you've seen my instagram you've probably seen the picture i bought this this was like a souvenir that i bought from there i don't know if you guys can see this the light is shot changing but i have lights in front of me so you probably cannot see it what else did i do yesterday i went out um I went out in the evening, I went out for drinks. My stay has really been chill. Nothing extraordinary, but I've, I've been having a good time. It's not too stressful, it's just like balance of both. And I thank God for that. But I'm just happy that I'm not in Nigeria with everything that is happening right now, honestly. A lot has changed about China. Not a lot has changed, but a couple of things have changed about China. But I feel like it's just because I'm in a different city. And I feel I noticed the Chinese here is, is different. Too. Because sometimes when I say some words, some people don't understand. Or maybe it's just my Chinese that is bad. Already my Chinese is bad. It's not like I can speak Chinese. I just know like a couple of words. Yeah, I'm not good like that. I have factories to visit. I'm feeling lazy about that. Hmm. Because I just know that that factory visit comes with a lot of work. But then I still want to go and visit the factories. Um, let's see how everything goes though. I think good. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Whenever I see you guys again. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. How are you doing? Um, it is currently. It's not morning. It's afternoon actually. I woke up and I was taking out my braids for like four hours. No jokes. It was it was so stressful. I normally don't take out my braids myself. I hate it. But I am in another man's land, so I do not have an option. I'm going out this morning to get my lashes done. You guys know that one of my lashes full and the other one is empty. <laughs> so I'm just going to go and get it done again i'm removing this one because i got this one done in nigeria so yeah 
and I'm getting a new set and I'm considering lip blushing guys I've always wanted like fuller lips and I know that that is one way you can get fuller lips and of course like it helps to like give the lips like a um, it helps to brighten the lips like change make the lips brighter sha. I don't want my own to be red red like I just want like a tint but um, they explained to me that even if like it's red red like it's the color goes away and then it comes back there's a whole process to me sha. Um, I've done my research and the person that I have picked I'm comfortable with the person she's also the one doing my lashes I saw her catalog and her work is really good so for the lip blushing I'm not sure I'm getting into <laughs> guys I'm not sure I'm not sure yet but I know that um, that's something I want. I really love fuller lips. If you've noticed when I, how I do my makeup, I always overlay my lips to give an illusion of fuller lips. So I might as well just do it. I don't know yet. I'm still skeptical. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> This is my life Let's pretend it was a great night Let's pretend that it was real nice uh. Let's pretend that it's a movie Let's pretend that it's a story Let's pretend that it was glory uh. Cause that's where I do my best work That's where I see my real work In fiction you just can't get hurt In the imaginary in on you guys in like 100 days i'm so sorry well i'm currently editing my vlog bro i need a new laptop please you should subscribe to my channel so i can buy a new laptop <laughs> i'm playing but yeah i need a new laptop i was just watching one of my favorite youtubers he's also in china here not china and he's in china he comes once and he leaves but he doesn't live in China. Does he even live in China? I, bro, I don't know where that nigga lives. Being in China has just reminded me why people japa from Nigeria. Past few days have been higi haga for me. That's why I haven't been vlogging. Yesterday I got that lip thing that you guys saw me doing. But it has healed now. It, ha it hasn't healed. Like the swelling has come down. It was like extremely big and funny yesterday. <laughs> but swelling has come down. Thank God for that. I took down my braids. I think I spoke about that guys the first time i was in china or rather the last time i was in china i didn't stay too long i was in china for only one year and i think three months i know i know it feels like i was in china for like three years yeah everybody says that like they feel like i stayed in china for so long i was only in china for a year and three months yeah but um and that time honestly i didn't take chinese seriously i didn't one year three months was enough time for me to like learn a bit but i didn't think i was going to leave china so i thought i had time i didn't learn chinese seriously but then now that i've been in guangzhou meeting with like business people and some of my business partners bro i need to learn this language <laughs> and i can't even lie like being in china has like showed me so many more opportunities and i'm considering moving back here I haven't finalized but then I have business in Nigeria I have businesses in Nigeria so even if I decide like I'll have to like do one or two and yeah that's by the way I don't know I'm not saying anything I'm not confirming anything <laughs> but let's see how that goes um, the fact that I need to learn Chinese and I'm going to do that because I know that the opportunities are going to be endless 
China Chinese is one of the hardest languages in the world, but like people are learning it. <laughs> people are learning. It. My lips have been feeling tight though. Yeah, it's currently three. What time is it? Three a.m. Three eleven a.m. I'm still jet lagged. Um, tomorrow makes it one week since I've been in China, but my body has still not adjusted to the timing. This is my last night in this hotel, and I think this is my last night in Guangzhou. I'm not even sure. I don't even know, like, whatever happens, happens. Bye, guys. Joey. 